Hey, what's up? Today with Brazos Valley Strength. And uh, this is for sure my last video in this space. I think I've said it in the last like two videos that, that I was done making videos in here, but today I am taking all of this stuff down. So um, basically what's happening is I'm moving to Cypress, Texas. It's just outside of Houston, Texas for my girlfriend's work. She's a veterinarian, works there. So we're gonna move that direction. And so no more home gym for me. So uh, another another big life change right now. I think it, or I, I felt like it was fitting to make a video taking down this gym and, and getting set up in the new place. Um, I'm gonna have a really sweet gym there, it seems like. Um, kind of a, a brand new barbell gym called Rise. They've had a gym, but they're expanding their barbell area and, and I'm, I'm excited to be there. So um, this is Saturday. I'm gonna be moving officially on Monday. But today is the big day of, of taking down the gym and, and kind of getting things ready there. So a um, little, you know, a big change. I, 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 don't, I don't know if it's totally sad. I'm kind of excited to be in, in Cyprus. But for those of you who didn't know, Brazos Valley Strength, this county is Brazos County. It's the name of a river. The Brazos Valley, right, is, is this area that we're in. So the name, I guess, will live on, even though I won't be in the Brazos Valley anymore. So anyway, lots of lots and lots of little changes, but but I, I kind of wanted to document this this process. And uh, and I think, you know, after after a competition like I just had, it, it might be I, I think I've, you know, I've gotten a lot of messages, comments from you guys kind of uh, expressing inspiration, you know, from me fighting as much as I have through this one. And even if it didn't turn out successful, um, in the moment, like, you know, I'm, again, I'm, I'm happy with my process. You know, I don't really feel too sad about it at all. Um, it is what it is. So, um, you know, kind of documenting that process and, and getting things going again, and hopefully moving back into some really good training here really soon. Uh, my back feels better post-competition. My adductor seems to be okay. So might've dodged some bullets there. Um, but, but yeah, so hopefully an easy start to the training next week at Rise, I'll, I'll film a few of those sessions. I don't intend to make like a, a huge video with that, just getting things going and, uh, and documenting the, the the process to build back up. So anyway, we're gonna take down this gym as much as possible. The next gym or the next, all this stuff is just gonna be sitting in my garage at our rental house for the next year until we can rebuild, re, rebuild an actual home gym and looking forward to all those changes. So I guess the next time you'll see me will probably be in Cyprus. So we'll see you then.
All right, so I am moved in here to Cypress, Texas. I'll, I'll do, I'll, I'll show you what my gym <laughs> looks like in my garage right now. Uh, I planned on doing a lot more with this video. I, I was planning on showing like more of the moving and kind of getting set up here and doing all that. And this is a week later after, after all that happened. We moved last Monday. I took down the gym last Saturday. So this is Monday, October 2nd, I think it's today's day. So it just like, it got away from me. It was too much going on to really uh, turn this into a, an actual, the, the video that I planned it to be. Uh, so just, I mean, we're even like half unpacked in the house, working on, on getting things uh, set up, you know, for real beyond that. So here, here's my, my new setup now, uh, just upgraded here to a standing desk. Hopefully that actually, I'm actually hoping that will help some of my training, uh, especially like these Mondays when I spend a lot of time doing more check-ins and stuff, going really tight to, to training. So I've been, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. But we're hopefully gonna deck out, decorate this room here. I, I Like I said, just been messing with the computer for the most part, but get a, get a rug in here, help with sound. I don't know how, it, how bad it sounds right now, but help with the audio, um, put up some decorations and, and hopefully turn this into a nice little YouTube setup for me to, to film a lot of the talking stuff. Um, and then we're gonna go over to, to Rise Barbell. I'm, after I film this, I'm heading right over there for the first session of my new block. So if you haven't um, watched my, my previous vlogs, I, I, I have all my training for free on my, my website. So this training block will be available as well. And, and yeah, I mean, just mostly trying to get healthy. So I'm not, I'm not planning on talking too much through the rest of the video. I think my plan is, is to film the first like three days of training. Film Rise, all the great accessories that they have there, and I think I'm gonna do a little voiceover for what my, how I'm approaching. I'm not even calling it rehab. I don't, I don't feel like it's that way. How I'm, how I'm approaching getting back into the groove of training and how the program is written to, to help facilitate that. So anyway, we'll, we'll go over to Rise right now and hopefully get this block going. If you want to follow along with the block, it's live on my website, so you can check that out. And uh, hoping to put together some good stuff and hopefully move pretty comfortably. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. All right, so we are jumping into day one of this new block here. I, I just am going to be showing the first three days of the week. I, I don't think that showing a whole lot more than that is gonna be super productive. I think especially the last two days will be kind of redundant as far as the things that I said, but I, I feel good. I feel like I'm, I'm in a good spot to have some good training. Pretty much all of the ailments that, that I had heading into nationals are fine. And, and, and I think as far as what I said, in those last few videos heading into nationals, I was in a much, much better spot at that point, but just wasn't able to put together good training, just kind of ran out of time is really what it came down to. So um, at nationals, it kind of hurt my back a little bit, hurt my adductor, but both of those were fine. I said it earlier in the video that at this point, I'm really not having to think about any of those things. So it's going back to hopefully solving some of the problems that, I, that I've had for a lot of the year, really kind of centering around my left leg. And I, I think a big part of what has gone on over the years, you know, a couple of years ago, tore my adductor pretty badly, came back from that, had, had some issues with it this year. But at this point, one of the main things that I'm feeling is a good bit of loss of external rotation in that left leg. So. What I'm doing here is trying to give myself these opportunities with these pause squats and even like in warmups in feeling that external rotation on that left leg and really staying balanced on that left leg. So it, it's, it's great to have a starting point right now in this block that I feel fairly comfortable overall. Um, I've been shifting away from that left leg pretty noticeably for, for about a year or so. And, and, you know, there's, there's been some good times in training when I've been able to do some single leg work, uh, to, to be able to string together a good bit of training to be able to stay on top of the leg. So I've had some success, like pretty quickly when I'm able to, to create that process, um, but just haven't been able to string those blocks together. So at this point, I feel pretty happy that I, that I have what I feel like is, you know, a reason kind of, a, a something to go after with these. Um, and, and really, I, mean, I think you can kind of tell I'm, I'm, I feel pretty even with my squat. I, I actually feel pretty comfortable. My left leg was working very, very hard on these, like kind of through the entire rep, which will show up later on deadlifts. But 
Most of my lower body training right now is, is centered around getting in some reps, hopefully keeping the loads light enough to allow myself, allow myself to feel the left leg when I really want to. But beyond that, not feel like stuff is incredibly forced and that the load is gonna be light enough to, as I start feeling more even, not have to think about it and just let myself kind of come back and find a good flow here overall. So I have other videos on this stuff, you know, that, that we definitely want to, to be mindful of our technique and give ourselves opportunities to, to feel like we're doing the right things. But once we have that in our heads, I think it's really, really important to be able to let ourselves go. So I'm actually writing this program with these high reps, you know, sets of six on squats, a lot of volume kind of later in the week on deadlifts, all light loads in an effort to keep myself from feeling like I'm really having to fight and force things on heavier weights and more so just turn my brain off and, and let myself squat and, and deadlift. And so far, like, you know, week one, I feel really, really positive about that stuff. And it seems like it's, it's moving the right direction. Um, but We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, certainly planning on doing a, a block rehat recap with this and expecting to uh, to be able to share a, a ton of a ton of success over the next four or five weeks or so. So on bench press, you know, the weird last block, that kind of surprising pec thing was also basically resolved in the last two weeks heading into nationals as well. I really didn't have any pain there, just didn't have any training under my belt. So a similar approach here with my bench press training is, is just trying to get my groove back and, and actually probably a lot more exposure here to some heavier weights because I was having a good bit of success with that uh, heading into to nationals as well. So some of these long pause bench presses or these are the one, two reps of the long pause on the first rep and then competition reps afterwards. But overall, I, I felt great with my technique and, and all of that, that kind of excitement heading into nationals that I was, I was feeling like I was really liking my training and excited to bench press. It was just unfortunate that I had that going on, but I am, I'm certainly feeling like all of that excitement and uh, positivity around technique and flow is really carrying over right now into this training. And I'm, I'm feeling really good about moving forward. But one of the big things that I wasn't able to do, and I don't even know if wasn't able to do, but I got away from last year were some things like this, um, stiff leg deadlifts, snatch grip RDLs and all those. And you even see like that first rep in particular, I'm really cautious around lockout to make sure my hip is gonna tolerate it. But I got away from some of these things because of some discomfort that I was feeling in my hips. And I, I started leaning probably too much into things that didn't really bug it in an effort to try to like get back my training status. Again, I kind of just always felt like I, I wasn't in flow and wasn't, didn't really have the time to, to get myself solid, which, you know, maybe hindsight was a mistake. But these have been really, really big historically in making me feel really strong, my back, my hips, everything. So bringing back those and I'm, I'm excited to, to hopefully reap the benefits of those again. So right now, this is just my day two bench press day. And I actually am really going to like this day, I think. Uh, just some high rep sets overall on bench press and, and pretty much the exact thing that I said with squatting on the other day is, is just using this day to just get a flow, just, just get a rhythm. I'm not really trying to, to push the volume too much. And I'm just trying to allow myself to feel really, really comfortable with that, that kind of confident, aggressive descent that I'm using right here, get a good sync on all these and just generally be aggressive. But one of the main things that we'll see during this block is I'm not doing any accessories for my chest. Um, I'm doing some accessories for triceps and shoulders, but not really a lot of them. And mostly I'm letting my bench press training just be the bench press. And this has been something I've had success with historically, particularly moving away from um, the, the pec kind of training because my pecs are <laughs> fragile, it seems, and just can't handle a lot of volume, or I guess can't handle a lot of vol volume on top of the bench press volume that I would already be doing. So sometimes the hardest thing for us to do is to actually make those choices. Like I want to do more bench press volume or, or more pushing volume like that. And, you know, I really enjoy some of this hypertrophy work, but 
I guess right now I'm just going to move away from it and kind of do the smart thing and just allow myself better bench press training in, in an effort to, to stay a little healthier for, for longer there. And I mean, so far so good. I feel pretty good with it. But the other great thing about rise gym is these accessory machines that they have are just amazing. Uh, I spent a lot of time just kind of bouncing around from machine to machine, just feeling out what I really like. Um, these, these two, there's actually three of those previous Panada machines that, that show up here. And, and I'm, I'm probably, there's just these three machines, including this pull down that I'm just going to bounce around from my back training pretty much the entire time. And, and really, really excited about some stuff that feels really good. And just these, these machines that I, I know I'll definitely work really hard on. So for the last day of the block here, I guess the middle day of the block, but the last day we're talking about during this little vlog is the deadlifts and, and really probably echoing everything that I said with the squatting, but maybe even to a higher magnitude is that I definitely used to in my deadlifts open up significantly more than than what I currently do and and I don't know at what point I really lost it but I you know I changed my approach to pulling slack and and kind of changed my position overall and I've had a ton of success with it so in in some ways I'm not going to necessarily force going back to some old stuff but I want to have the ability here to be able to externally rotate a little bit more and to hold that position but I wasn't pulling exactly like this when I went for that big 400 kilo deadlift and nearly had it. So, you know, I feel less strongly here that this is like a style that I need to stick with. But I do think that the deadlifts right now are a really good opportunity for me to work on holding that external rotation, particularly with my left leg, but both legs. But you can see how I'm approaching these as I'm doing these really long holds on the pauses. And you can see even some of that like shaking and everything uh, that, that's really mostly coming from my left leg just in that externally rotated position. Uh, just, just shaking, trying to hold that position. It's not super comfortable there, not a lot of pain. It just, it just feels really weak there, but, but really kind of getting better as I went. So this day was written as ascending sets on the deadlift, but I just don't trust myself off the floor. I, I right now I don't have confidence in that left leg, you know, really kind of struggling to rotate aggressively into the bottom, but I'm using that, that good pause position to pull myself into a better position and hopefully over time, get that position more and more off the floor. So these were supposed to be ascending, but ended up just doing all three of my sets here with the same weight, this 220. And uh, then afterwards had some singles that again were written at the same load, but was able to actually go up a good bit on those. So I think that this is a, a good day to look at if you wanna look at the program, how I executed the day differently than what was on paper, but still was really able to accomplish the intent of the session here overall, and it turned out to be really good. So I, you know, walking away, even without hitting very heavy weights, walked away feeling really good about the, the quality of my deadlifting here and kind of the, the success that I'll be able to have through this block with this strategy moving forward. So ultimately, this was a, a pretty good day. I actually got a lot more confident. This is my first single. I got a lot more confident as I went through these. Uh, the rep work started feeling better by that third set. Um, and by the time I get up to this third deadlift, things are things are going a good bit better. So really, really happy with uh, the, the feel of these overall. I certainly have some work to do with my position off the floor on these deadlifts, but I didn't really expect a ton to, to start off with. But um, you'll see on this, this next clip after the single, I'm doing some just almost touch and go deadlift reps. And again, all of this is the same thought is that I'm trying to give myself opportunities as many reps as possible, just staying in that same position and not really worrying about weight right now. So this ended up being a pretty solid day all around. I'm looking forward to putting up some pretty big weights here pretty soon. And 
finally, probably my favorite machine, the thing I was most excited about in this whole gym is this pendulum squat here. Uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of belt squats, but, but especially recently, I think belt squats have kind of allowed some of those shifts that I've been doing in my squat, shifting away from my left leg to, to be highlighted some and kind of train those positions I don't want to be in. But here, I'm, I, I feel so square and I feel like I'm absolutely limited just by the strength of my left leg, uh, which, is, which is pretty cool. And especially, you know, getting into these really deep ranges of motions really comfortably, I think it's going to be a great tool to really be able to train my quad which, you know, sometimes squatting or whatever, I, I have trouble feeling them a lot. So I think some opportunities like this will go a long, long way to really help help me feel more even being squared up by the machine itself, but also kind of learning to, to use that left leg, having to work really hard in the first place. And also after this one added in some leg extensions, which I haven't, I haven't done a lot of historically. Uh, so this machine is another one that also feels really, really good. And you'll see kind of through this set that I start shaking really, really bad. And this is my left leg that, that a lot of the shaking halfway through here is it really feels like kind of, um, my left leg lacking that training kind of lacking the confidence in that force production. But as I'm getting through here, it's, it's starting to work very, very hard. And just like kind of an untrained muscle that, that starts shaking and quivering a good bit. And I don't know, some of these things are, are just, uh, you know, intuitive that they feel good to feel those muscles working really hard again. And maybe I'm justifying some of that stuff or explaining it in my head in ways that aren't necessarily the reality, but definitely feeling like this is a good step in the right direction as far as the training that I really need to be doing right now. So that's pretty much it for me wrapping up the, the training this week. And hopefully we'll have a lot of coaching and training videos coming soon. So like this video, if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.